Hey y'all, it's Brooke with HubSpot. Today, I'm going to go over all the new customization features available for membership websites. Membership sites in HubSpot enable you to restrict access to CMS content to only verified users. And now you have the ability to customize membership system pages and emails in both the design manager and CLI. This means you can ensure your sign-in pages and email confirmations match your brand and CMS theme, leading to a better user experience. A quick note before we get started, you must have a domain connected to your HubSpot account for membership sites to work. The default domains in your account do not work with membership sites. Learn more by checking out the links in the description. All right, now let's find where membership system pages and emails live in your HubSpot account. In the top navigation, click on the settings icon. Then in the left-hand sidebar, scroll down until you see content. Then scroll down until you see private content. Here in the basic tab, you can see the contact information for your company including the company name and website admin, as well as downloading the registration and sign-in activity logs. You also have a tab for emails and pages. Now, in order to update your system pages, make sure that you choose a domain to edit. So in the dropdown from all domains, we're going to check members.builtonhubspot.com. Now that we're in the pages tab, we can see the different system pages that we can edit. We have the registration area. We also have the sign-in area. You also have a password reset section and a new feature. You have the passwordless authentication confirmation page. So now you can send your members an email so that they can sign in without a password. And finally, you have the self-registration pages. So to go about editing these, choose any of the system templates that you would like to edit and click on Actions. Then from here, click on Edit. This will pull up the read-only version of the default template. The default template has a lot of Hubble functionality that includes adding the different modules that will be needed for these types of membership system pages. So you can go ahead and press Clone Template and so now that you've copied this over, if you would like, you can move this into a theme that you've already built by clicking on the move template action and then choosing the theme that you want to move it into. And we'll put it in the system templates folder. And then because you've done that, you can set your CSS links to the proper ones and you can extend templates you've already created in your theme so that your membership system page will match the branding that you've already created. The main thing that you'll need to focus on when you're working with these templates is that in the top information, you need to make sure that you set the template types correctly. Check out the link in the description below to find all of those template types. Once you've made any changes, go ahead and click on publish changes. And then you can go back to your system pages. And now you can go into the dropdown and choose the template you created. Finally, you'll hit save at the bottom. And that's how you can update your system templates to match your themes you already created. Now let's look at what you can do to customize the emails. In the emails tab, you have different emails that are sent out when people sign up for your members only website. So you have the registration emails that include the invitation email and the password confirmation email, the password reset email, and the passwordless authentication email, as well as the self-registration confirmation email to verify their email address. You can also create follow-up emails. Follow-up emails allow you to send an email to contacts who have not completed their registration. So now let's look at how we can update one of the emails. So under any of the email types, click on actions and then click on create. This will take you to the email creation section and you can choose both a drag and drop email or you can create a custom email from scratch. We're going to use a drag and drop template and we'll go ahead and choose the welcome template and we will click on that and then it will take us to our email page. This will already be populated with everything you'll need in your email 
so that you don't have to worry about putting in the functions for yourself. And let's go ahead and drag in an image that we will put on this password list authentication email. We're going to just go ahead and generate. Let's do plant shop. And we're going to choose the dimensions to be landscape and then choose a style abstract style. And we'll go ahead and generate that image really quickly. And now that those have been generated, we'll go ahead and insert one of them at the top. And we have a really good photo for our email. And then all we have to do is click on settings. We want to make sure that we have a subject line so we can click on generate a subject line. Sign in securely with one time link. We'll insert that. We'll also generate some preview text as well. Sign in securely with a one time link that expires in 15 minutes. And then we'll click on review and publish. So now that it's published, this is an automated email that we can send along. So now we'll go back to our settings and then under password list authentication, we will choose our sign in securely with one time link email and we will go ahead and save that. Awesome. So now everything that your user sees can be customized to match your theme and branding. This ensures that your users know exactly what brand they're interacting with from start to finish. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the HubSpot Developers YouTube channel. Check out the links in the description below to learn more, and I'll see y'all in another video. Bye. Bye-bye.